Hello and welcome to a new Star Trek Online series, because Cooper doesn't want to play anymore. Yeah, he decided he didn't want to play with us. And we're doing something a little bit different, so if you want to see something from my vantage point, you can see it on my channel. It's in the wrong aspect ratio, though. That's true. And so, just so we get this down on my channel. Hello, everybody! My name is Lord X. And I'm Wolf Demon. Yes, and we are going to be playing um, the second mission in the new Jim Hadar faction. However, we're going to be using other characters as, sadly, uh, Gurman Adar was killed in a horrible ship explosion. It, it was my fault. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, involving the toilet? Oh, yeah, yes, involving yeah. the toilets, definitely. Yes, well, that's what his entire thing was, deciding who was going to go to the toilet. It was definitely that. Yes. Definitely Anyways, not me. Let's go to storm clouds get there. <laughs> You're definitely not going to see some B-roll footage of whatever Blake is going to cook up. <laughs> Ugh. B-roll footage is amazing. We've entered the Denarius Belt, Admiral. I am reading several civilian vessels on sensors. In addition, the, fla the flagships of the summit attendees, the station is still damaged from the recent attack. But it appears that critical system repairs are complete. Their damage control teams must be working double shifts. Indeed, Helm, take us to the station. Please, we're low on fuel and supplies. We need help badly. I, I hate to break it to you, but my ship is actually kind of slow. So. That any gem had our aggression. Will be met with deadly this force. is station control. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. Your docking uh, uh, Sure, okay. I'll, I'll let them know. Several of our docking facilities were damaged in the recent conflict. Please proceed to the provided coordinates. I can't go to the full impulse. Also, Captain Nog is waiting to meet with you on the promenade at your earliest Are they probably preventing it on purpose? Enjoy your stay here at the station. Game over. I feel like I should get another uh, set. Okay, you can do that. Colez, okay, I'm sorry, good. I like you, but uh, I'm gonna use her. That works. She has a specialization. She yeah, she's the command officer, isn't she? Yeah. I I need to I need to figure out which one of my uh, officers I want to make a uh, pilot because my the Bajoran ship has two pilot spots. Nice to be working with you. Oh, that's easy. I've been assigned to assist you oh, hey, it's not on station. The leaders mm, of the four major delegations have asked to meet with you prior to the summit meeting. Their offices are located here on the promenade. Very well. Mm, very well. Onwards. Oh! Wow, he was booking it there. <laughs> I I didn't even see him come over here. He just teleported for you? I I wasn't really paying attention. Kinda like just like Walked at supersonic speed. <laughs> they're, they're still gonna see that episode, aren't they? The time we did this. Uh, I'll, I'll put like clips of it, but the audio is screwed. All right, let's see. Where are we going to first? Uh, well, we could just walk around. Right here. Oh look, it's the Cooper's reincarnation. <laughs> is it because he's playing an accordion? That's absolutely why. He's also appears to be singing some sort of opera. Well, Klingon opera. We're deaf to Klingon right now, so come on. Yes, he's he's just like mouthing the movements, it would seem. It's Ambassador Odo. I'll be blunt. Oh. The Herc have decimated most of the Dominion. All but one fleet gone. That's it's all the Jem'Hadar can do to keep our remaining worlds from being laid waste. There is no diplomacy with the Herc. We don't know why they're attacking. We're not even sure where they're coming from. I'm sure there are those in the Alliance who would be content to let the Herc destroy us. But where do you think they'll turn once they're finished? Arby's. Definitely Arby's. <laughs> they'll turn to Arby's. Arby's. The crap, look at this guy's power stance. Oh, he's he's not in his power stance anymore. Hello, yes, we have to communicate with him. Oh, there he he's goes. Trying to tell us, he's trying to tell us something. What, using a power stance? 
Yes, he's trying to convey dominance, even though he's a uh, cactus man. Yes, we're gonna come in here. And visit nobody. Yes. Oh, right, this is the place where I got an injury through via flashback. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, he's- oh! He just- he just booking it. Supersonic Nog. Nog the Hedgehog. Nog the Hedgehog. <laughs> oh god. This way. We have- this one. This one. This way. Zoom in on the mini map, there we go. Admiral Quinn is here? He is now. Results of this summit would have long-lasting effects. A number of our allies, particularly the Klingons, consider the Hurt to be a Dominion problem. The Federation has ah, yes. to improve relations with the Dominion. Having allies in the Gamma Quadrant instead of enemies would be a great step toward galactic peace. Very true. I would like to point out, though, that it's a Dominion problem is truly a politician's argument. Yeah. Where do you think they're gonna go after the Dominion? Maybe the big shiny wormhole. The big shiny wormhole. Or you know, there could be that there's a whole bunch of them already in this quadrant of space. Oh well, yeah, there's that too. They didn't just like come out of the wormhole, they kind of came off the planet. Sss. Planets. Sis. That's right, planet sis. Dust. Dust. Here is Proconsul Deton's office. Deton is here? Yes. Is he in here? I lost it. Over here. Oh. This summit may be difficult. While your people will see a path toward peace, I suspect the Klingons will feel the opposite. There is no love lost between them and the Dominion, or the Hurt for that matter. The Republic position is one of pragmatism. A weakened Dominion will be easier to deal with, and the Hurt are a threat no one can ignore. All right. Th that was actually quite wise. I'm not going to lie. That was a... Uh... That was a, was a very good argument there that was saying, oh my goodness. What? I think that this OBS here had a little bit of a transporter ac accident in regards to his cape because it appears to be part of his shin. Oh shit, I see it now. Uh, no, it's right at the knee, actually. It's right, it's part of his knee, that's worse. And it's not like it's like a texture glitch because cause from the back here, it curves I... into it. And then the other half is going straight. I don't think capes don't have tech don't have uh, physics in this game, do they? Um, some of them do. Like my cape doesn't. Like my long coat does not. But certain, um, like the shoulder pauldron things that the Romans have, they have physics. Really? Yeah. Huh. They move when when you walk, and if you jump, they like flap upwards. Like you always go the wrong direction. I'm not. I am a starship captain, Tristan. I am not directionally challenged. We're gonna go left. Chancellor Jumpock has an office here. That's right, wasn't it? This is not the right one. Nope. Uh, I swear we're not lost. We don't need to stop for directions. Excuse me, we're looking for your office. This summit may not end well. <laughs> Most of the High Council sees the Hurt as a Dominion problem. They are content to let them fight to the end and deal with any survivors. But there are others, such as Martok, who see that position as dishonorable. If they want to fight the war of their ancestors, so be it. But they will be doing so without the Empire. The same could be said for your Federation, should they choose to aid the Dominion. Understood. One would think there that after you got your butts kicked by the Dominion in the Dominion War, you would think differently. What the hell? Go away, firmware update. I recommend me with them as well. Their worlds will be on the front line if the Herc launch a full invasion into this quadrant. Alright. Uh, Good to know. So I accidentally hit the uh, charging cable on my headset, which caused it to become disconnected from the computer for a moment. Which, if, if it happens the right way, it causes. Um. It prompts a firmware update? It, it causes my headset software to think the firmware needs to be updated. So I, so I, I got the uh, user account control message. That's... odd. You want 
They don't care. Talk to the guy. Now I know the truth. That was the name given to me to prevent a great dishonor. Martox A. My name, my face, all the past. General Kerr! Our recent deeds and service Good. to the Empire have led your path to restore the honor of my house. The sons of Vogue once again stand proud and without shame. The honor was mine. General? Kapla. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. But I think that I got the message across. Who are we talking to next? Um, did we talk to this lady? Yeah, uh, no, not this time. We need to. Let's go over here and we, we'll, we'll talk to Garrick. The Spoonhead. Hello there. I oh my. Take it, you're not here to update Oh god, he's the one with the bad so facial acting, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> In the meantime, let's talk about serious business, shall we? I'm sure you'd mm. like to know Cardassi's position on the Hurt Father. Make a stop. It's simple, really. There are many of us, and one we should deal with swiftly. Surprise? Cardassia was recently attacked by the Hurt. We'd have fared poorly without help from our neighbors, even the Lucari and the Ferengi. That's good. I trust this lesson isn't lost on you. If we stand alone. You realize that in the context of the game, my character is a Bajoran, in which case. In which you case, and you pull out a knife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in which case, stab. In which case, stab. No, but in reality, the Cardassians in the show of D Space Nine were a uh, leather fetishist Nazi. <laughs> leather fetishist Nazis. Yeah, like seriously, it was really weird. Will there be anything else? Like the parallels that they drew to the Nazis. Basically, the Cardassians were the insert for any kind of war parallel. Okay. So, you know, like, parallels to basically the villains of any war throughout U.S. history. Oh, I clipped into the... Cur oh, my goodness, the curtains have physics. Holy crap, like, full-on physics, too. No wonder I have a low frame rate here. I'm trying to render <laughs> the physics of these curtains. I thought that it was weird that it was going so slowly, too, but it's because they have physics. It's because they have such advanced physics. <laughs> These are physics? No, they don't. They're just a uh, walk through it. Onwards. Did all of our crew spawn in one place again? I. Hmm. My father maybe maybe they went to the bar. Gone. Hard to believe he used to work there, huh? <laughs> it's the Grand Negus. I was wondering when he'd come along. I'm guessing you're here to talk about yes. the Hurt and what we want to do about them. It's no secret that the Ferengi aren't a military powerhouse like the Klingons. Most of the time, we'd be happy to make a tiny copy of all of this and as far away from it as possible. What changed when the Hurt attacked Ferenginar? We would have been wiped out without help. And we didn't get it from Starfleet or the Klingons. Weird. We got it from what? the Lucari and the Cardassians. Is that cool? Not cool ships showed up to fight. For some reason. But this is everyone's fight. Didn't we destroy them through temporal tampering? And if the 34th rule of acquisition comes in from the Yes and no. It, right. it depends on when you ask. <laughs> That's very true. That whole arc got kind of messed up because they just kind of jammed it into it. Stuff that happened before and after, all at the same and time. After, you know, time. You time. Hello, Morn. 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 Any good gossip, Morn? Ah, Morn, you always know what to say to cheer a guy up. 
I mean, who can forget Morn and his words of wisdom? I mean, Morn and his no, it's Morn and his ice rattling of wisdom. Yes. I want you all to know that I've never seen Deep Space Nine. She really. He, have you ever watched any actual Star Trek that was like the show? Aside from the whale movie, no. Okay. <laughs> well, and Into Darkness, but according to you, it was terrible. And I don't remember I don't much think of it. It was terrible. I'm just saying that there are better Star Trek movies than Into Darkness. Why are we sitting here? I thought you were. I was following your lead. Never do also, that. Also, this is Quark. Uh, in here. Oh. Oh yes, it's my spiritual temple. In the Bajoran temple. The temple of my people. The temple of those things that live in the wormhole. Hello. Yes, they're the prophets. Get it right. Admiral it's my gods. Things. I can tell you we're worried. The Herc were a few ships away from ravaging the homeworld, and if the Dominion falls, they'll be back, and we'll be the first to face them. So, Pedro stands ready. We'll do what we can to stop them. You talk very quietly. He does. There's something else I should mention. I've experienced visions recently. A sign Don't call, but I understand it. I see a place I've been before, a world beyond the grip of death. It's the home of a former Kai, and it's in the Dominion. I should also mention that I've seen you in this vision as well. I believe we're going to do the journey together soon. That's good, I suppose. Not at the moment. Not at the moment. The Alliance has asked a number of special consultants to attend the summit. I know each of them well, and I can vouch for their knowledge and skill. Even my uncle Quark. That's not that his reputation. His hard to believe, but there you go. Is valuable. Just don't mention Latinum in the discussion, or the value of his information could rise considerably. Good to know. Understood. Understood. And with that, we will smoke bomb away. Damn it, Blake, you and your vaping. My... It's not a vape, it's a ninja smoke bomb. My gun doesn't turn invisible. Your gun oh. turns <laughs> your gun turns in oh wait, no, that's not your gun, that's your backpack. Well the backpack it my gun's in the backpack. Okay. Let's see. Over here. Gotta yeah, talk to Quark. Eh. Okay. Where are we going? Where'd you go? Yeah. The doctor. Bashir. Doctor, doctor. Hello. It's been a while since that business of Quark. You're looking well. My compliments to your CMO. As you can see, I've been recently recommissioned. I'm doing what I can to get things in order. Okay. Why are you whispering? The situation is compounded by the presence of civilians, both local and from other systems, even the Dominion. We have a number of refugees from the Gamma Quadrant on the station, and more are on the way. Clearly, the sooner we can solve the hope, that's good, the better. We'll be beyond our capacity to help the refugees soon, as we'll. Well, finish. thank you, Doctor, but we have a meeting to get to, Come and we on. don't have a lot of time to do it. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can turn my. Voice audio up. Music. Uh, no, voice volume is all the way up. Odd. You're a Starfleet medic. Good to know. Mm. I, I am also technically a Starfleet medic. I was for a very long time. But then I went into cryogenesis. So. Alright, let's get smashed. I mean, talk to diplomats and stuff. One of the two... Corkity cork cork. Yeah. Can I? Can I really not talk to him while in the seat? <laughs> That's stupid. Well, that is. Rag you into this too. Can't say I'm too surprised. You've come a long way since you scrapped with the clan as a cadet. I'm here because my no. fool of a brother, the Magus, seems hell bent on getting the Ferengi into this mess. That that I is very true. Fighting the heart. Ready for the rule or not? You can't spend your money on it. If you ask me, we'd be better off sealing that manhole and saying goodbye to the Herc and the Dominion forever. Probably not. I feel the very one, but I'll get over it. 
could see how that would never happen. I mean, it does hold my gods, so. I suppose I'll have to dig in like everyone else. You know what the worst part of this mess is? We hear you on a moon now. He's back right now. I do. And I'd be there, enjoying myself. You want to put a grand Nagus. Brother or not, I wanted nothing to do with this until he put Lucari terraforming tech on the table. There we go. Couldn't pass that up. They have cut biosphere renovation costs on my moon by 70%. Even with Odo here, and William Earth trying to demolish everything in sight, there's profit in the wind. My climate band and exclusive Tula Berry export contract I've been dreaming about for 40 years. Well, so then the herd can eat all the Tula Berries. Can I get you something? I'm fine for now. Yes, I'd like all of your most expensive and most, um, I'd like your most expensive, cheapest wine. <laughs> it's a bucket. Hello. It's been a while since I've been in this place. Can't believe Quark still has that hollow me in here. It's a little embarrassing. I understand that. I wish we were all here. Uh, why does Hollow Lita look like a different race? It looks black. Hollow Lita. Hollow Lita looks black. No, thank you. There's a number of refugee groups. She looks just tanner because of the light contrast, Tristan. Nope, nope. She her skin's brown. And now I have to cut that part of the video. Her hair's brown too. Die. Hair dye. And the skin? It's a hologram. <laughs> exactly. So why? Once, Tristan. Exactly. So why did you feel the need to come up with that excuse for the first one? Because I really didn't want to address that issue in a video about Star Trek. 